Westerners fear that Russian President Vladimir Putin may authorize the use of nuclear weapons by his forces in a military operation in Ukraine. In an interview with CBS News, Biden warned Russia that such action by Russia would change the nature of the war. This has not happened since the Second World War. Based on Biden's statement, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said, read our plan for the use of nuclear weapons where it is all written. In Russia's nuclear policy, nuclear weapons are perceived only as deterrents. Incidentally, deterrence means that Russia can use these weapons in Ukraine. Russia's use of nuclear weapons has been discussed four times. The first is that a ballistic missile attack on the territory of Russia or its allies would result in the use of Russian nuclear weapons. If Russia's ally Belarus launches a ballistic missile attack, Russia can retaliate with a nuclear attack. The second is that Russia will launch a nuclear attack if nuclear or mass destruction weapons are used against Russia or its allies. The third is that Russia is capable of a nuclear attack if it attacks important Russian government or military installations. Russia's last line is that Russia will launch a nuclear attack if any such weapon is used against Russia and the existence of the state is threatened. Russia's nuclear regulations are simple yet complex. Russia's fourth rank series is more complex. The West is giving Ukraine HIMARS rockets in Ukraine war with Russia. Through which Ukraine is losing Russian troops by attacking from far away. So if Russia sees it as a threat, it will use nuclear weapons. Basically, Russia's nuclear attack laws are simple but complicated. Meanwhile, Russia has changed its strategy of war. Russia is withdrawing troops from the less important areas of the recently captured Donbas. As a result, Ukraine is reoccupying these old places. Western media is calling this occupied territory of Ukraine as their achievement. Russia has launched a massive offensive against key economic cities in Ukraine. Currently, Russian forces are advancing towards the important city of Bakhmut and taking control of all mineral rich areas. Before the war, the population of Bakhmut was 70,000. The city is crucial to Russia's pursuit of the mineral rich Donbas region. Bakhmut became the target of their slow-moving offensive from the beginning of July when the Russians established their control of Lysysansk and Luhansk. Russia has stepped up its offensive in Bakhmut after last week's retreat of Russian troops in the northeast. Ukrainian army commanders believe that the city of Bakhmut has become important for Russia. Because Russian forces want to cut off Ukraine's logistic supply to the east and south. Vladimir Putin has announced that Russia wants to end the war very soon. So it can be said that the war can be ended by occupying the important territory of Ukraine. However, during these wars, according to the American allegations, Russia may use nuclear weapons. Dear viewers, will Russia really use nuclear weapons in Ukraine as claimed by America? Comment your opinion. Click the like button if you like this video. Share the video with your friends and let them know too.